All right, it's now time for interactive. Remember to download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store and watch a variety of live sports action, including the Africa Cup of Nations, which will be live starting on Saturday, with the opening game between Ivory Coast and Guinea-Bissau at 3 p.m. in Jamaica for ECT. Well, there's also the West Indies Tour of Australia, which begins with the first test in Adelaide next Tuesday, starting at 6.30 p.m. in Jamaica, 7.30 ECT. And remember to check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube, which is where we begin today. We also have the Africa Cup of Nations. So before we head across to that, um, we're giving you that update. So let's take the responses from Wednesday segment previewing the upcoming JFF Voting Congress after Team Ricketts released its manifesto. So, when, we, when are we going to get a proper administrative group to truly take Jamaica football to the next level? It's obvious that Mr. Ricketts ain't it. We deserve better and I pray he doesn't win. Anthony Cornwall, an interesting aspect of this manifesto is the decision to allocate $70 million to each parish association annually. They state that they have the money. Constantine Cunningham says, Good evening. Remember that Miss Marley don't have a vote and if there was a court issue, then FIFA would step in and we could see the country football going backwards. User says, this admin deserve all the credit. They could have made other decisions which could have resulted in worst results. After all the disrespect given to them by the girls for the longest, they could have not supported them. Mariah, another admin, could have insisted that Blaine coached the team. You guys take too much for granted. Ricketts' management method kept us afloat. His ego doesn't interfere much with his leadership decisions. We could have had an hardline federation. Lots of things which take place with Jamaica is not normal. We are grateful for our federation. Do we have more? Okay, so I take the point, of course. I think sometimes, and I've always grumbled about this on YouTube. Firstly, this, this, this comment came from somebody named user. So they don't have a proper name at all so this is somebody hiding behind a keyboard and of course giving their view the comment goes on to say that this admin deserves all of the credit so user where were you when the girls of course didn't have proper flights to go on didn't have practice matches were not being paid where were you when the guys again were complaining about the fact that you know proper flight arrangements were not made i get that the administration does what they can do with what's in front of them but I have an issue with ignorant comments like this. They could have made other decisions which could have resulted in worse results. After all the disrespect given to them by the girls for the longest, I think like this is a one-sided comment and I would just pass it over to Lance because <laughs> I don't want to get a migraine. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion and you know, the, the tone of that um, response does sound as if it is somebody that is in the camp of, of and when of, you're giving your opinion you need to put your name yeah well we know that in social media world that doesn't that doesn't happen generally i was watching tvj last night local television and they had a vox pop because they were discussing the elections coming up and i think about 99 percent of the people interviewed felt that the jff under ricketts's administration was a failure and i think most jamaicans feel that way so um that comment that we just saw the last one is a coming from, from the other side but they are in the huge minority because um the general feeling is that the, uh, the administration has done badly and as i have said before it is shocking to me that uh, ricketts presents a narrative that suggests that he's done well I and the administration has done well because they haven't that's that's the truth and to say that success has come while he's in president he's been president is a fact you cannot dispute that but I've seen many families where mom and dad were poor parents, the dad reckless and wayward and a drunkard, and the children become a success. No, but that's my point. I have never sat here and said that Where the administration laughing, was all failure. Am I, am I lying? I don't know. You said you have seen. I don't know what you have seen, Lance. So you <laughs> haven't seen any instances where parentage has been poor 
but the children have been great. I, I would have to think about it. Oh, no, I've seen that the all the time. I want to think about. I've seen that. I've seen that all the time. So you don't really. Um, the parentage has nothing to do with the children. But what I'm trying to say is, I've never sat on this show, of course, and said that the JFF has done all wrong. What I have said, and I said it yesterday, put in brackets that with all the achievements came a lot of hip hiccups, a lot of um, miscommunication, a lot of issues. So instead of us talking about the successes on the show time after time, we always had to speak about the issues leading up to the success. It wasn't a smooth sailing ship. And that's the comment that I have made. All right, we're out of time. Next time y'all are making comments, please put your full name. <laughs> We're out of time, but of course, be sure to join us tomorrow. Same time, same place. Hopefully, we can have some comments with some names on them. Bye for now. Stage and give me everything like you are well prepared. We might change your issues like we are.